now let us discuss about csma ca protocol it stands for carrier sense multiple access with collision avoidance protocol so here collision avoidance means uh, we have to take some necessary steps to avoid the collision so we should not get any collision already we have seen csma with cd uh, in that concept after getting the collision what are the necessary steps to be taken in order to improve the performance so that is discussed there so what is the difference between collision detection and uh, collision avoidance collision detection means after detecting the collision uh, what are the steps we have to do so that is about uh, cd various ea means we have to take some necessary steps so that we should not get any collision okay so let us see the flow chart here uh, initially the value of k is initialized to zero so k means number of attempts so initially the attempt value is zero next we have to check whether the channel is ideal or not this is carrier sense so carrier sense means uh, before transmitting the data the station has to sense the carrier so the station has to check whether the carrier is ideal or busy so here we have some condition ideal so if it is not ideal so if channel is not ideal so that means channel is busy so if the channel is busy then once again we have to then once again the station has to sense the carrier let the station is not ideal so that means the station is busy then once again uh, it will goes into this one so once again the condition will be checked so the station has to sense the carrier okay so whenever yes ideal means yes so that means whenever the state whenever the channel is ideal wherever the channel is ideal so then what will happen is here the station won't send data immediately after finding channel is ideal so it waits for the station will waits for ifs ifs means interframe space so this is nothing but a random period of time so here whenever that uh, whenever that channel is free then the corresponding station will wait for interframe space so that is nothing but the station will wait for a random period of time why because there may be a possibility that during that time another station is transmitting a another station may transmits the frame so that's why it will wait for some more time so that uh, there will be no collision and after that also it won't send the station won't send data so what it will do it choose a random number or between 0 to 2 power k minus 1 so initially what is k value 0 so 2 power 0 minus 1 is nothing but 1 minus 1 0 so in the first attempt so it uh, here this is nothing but a slot so it won't wait here why because here the result is 0 whereas for the next attempt k value will become 1 so 2 power 1 minus 1 so that is nothing but 1 so here it waits for ifs as well as uh, the station will wait for one time slot <coughs> in the next attempt k value will become 2 so 2 power 2 minus 1 so 4 minus 1 is nothing but 3 so it will wait for three time slots so here what is the point here whenever that channel is ideal whenever that channel is ideal station won't send data immediately it will waits for ifs as well as a random number of slots okay next the station will send rts rts signal rts means ready to send signal here csma ca this technology is mainly useful in wifi wireless lan so here we let we have uh, a, a wifi like this so it is mainly used in wireless lan that is nothing but wifi so he, let we have a router let this node is a let this station is a this station is b this station is c this station is d so whenever a station wants to send any data then first it will send 
it will send RTA signal to the router. It will send RTA signal to the router. Then the router will check whether it is free or not. Suppose if the router is busy, then what will do? It will wait for some time. Suppose if the router is idle, if the router is free, then it will send CTA signal. So CTS means clear to send signal. So here in order to know the availability of the router, the station will send RTA signal whether you are ready or not okay and it will wait and it will set a time it uh, the corresponding station set a timer so that means it will wait for only that particular time period only okay so uh, let us assume that the station got the cts signal so cts means clear to send a signal so if the uh, if the status of the signal is yes yes that station got the CTS signal from the router. So CTS specifies that I am ready. You can send the frame now. Okay. But that station won't send the frame immediately. Why? Because there may be a possibility that another station uh, may be in the process of transmitting a frame. So in order to avoid the collision, the corresponding station will wait for IFS. So it will wait for inter-frame space. It will wait for a random period of time and after that the corresponding station will send a frame. The corresponding station will send a frame and after sending the frame, suppose if it receives acknowledgement, if acknowledgement is received, yes, then we can say that that is a successful transmission. So there is no collision. So in order to avoid the collision, we have taken these precautions. Next, let us assume that if acknowledgement is not received, if acknowledgement is not received, then there may be a possibility that that frame is lost. Okay. So if, if that acknowledgement is not received, then the station will uh, attempt the second attempt. Okay. So it simply increments k value. So k equal to k plus 1. So k equal to k plus 1. So now we are going for the uh, first attempt zero attempt is over first attempt okay next we have to check whether k is less than limit or not let here maximum number of limits are 14 so now what is k value 1 so 1 is less than 4 yes condition is true so we can go for the next attempt why because here the maximum number of attempts are 14 14 next uh, 1 less than 14 condition is true condition is true but after that also the corresponding station will wait for TB seconds. Here TB means back of time. So what is TB? TB means back of time. So back of time is nothing but a random amount of time. So here the corresponding station will wait for a back of time. Why? Because there may be a possibility that during that time another station may be in the process of transmitting a frame. So it will wait for a back of time and after that it will senses the carrier so the station once again senses the carrier if it is idle then it will wait for ifs if it is not idle then once again the carrier will senses the channel so in this way we can avoid the collision with the help of csma csa ca protocol